Hey, Johnny, you know who makes a good dirty martini? The haunted star. I told you, I don't want to go there. Come on, you're not going to go to your own party? No, the last thing I want to do is go to that place and have everybody jump down my throat for marrying you. It's not my idea of a good time. Oh, well, I guess I should be happy that you're not sitting home feeling sorry for yourself. Hmm? I'm hungry, let's eat. Uh, the restaurant's been booked for a private party. Uh, excuse me. Someone rented this restaurant on Halloween? Yeah, the party's been on the books for months, Miss Howard. Okay, it's Mrs. Zakara now, formerly Falconeri. You should know it's on your paychecks. Okay, we don't need to make threats. No, I need discuss. to know oh. who, uh, who okayed this without my say. Mrs. Jax gave the okay. Mrs. Jax. I see. Well, I need to talk to her right now, so why don't you go get her for me? Where the hell is she? I'm not sure of Mrs. Jax's whereabouts at the moment. Why not? Let's just go eat some. No, else, please. you're gonna tell me right now. Or I'm gonna demote you to bus boy. Mrs. Jax hired me. Only Mrs. Jax can demote me. However, if you wish yeah. to discuss it with her mm -hmm. personally, I believe she's in Mr. Manning's suite. Oh wait a minute, Carly's where? <clears throat> How do you like that? Carly's up in Todd Manning's room. Zip it. Look, it didn't take her long to get over you, but it is Halloween. Maybe she just wanted a little candy. Carly and Todd are just friends, all right? A little more than that, Johnny. But not that I blame her, because I did see Todd with his shirt off. I wonder if she'd share him with me. There's nothing between them, all right? Hey, you know how cute you are when you're in denial? Go on, turn that frown upside down, John John. We got something to celebrate tonight. We won in court today. I don't know what exactly call what happened in court today a win. Uh, I'm not in Shady Brook, am I? <sighs> anyway, I'm not feeling like celebrating. Yeah, must be difficult to know that Carly's up in Todd's room getting a freak on. I mean, I wouldn't want to go up there, break that up. She'd probably retaliate. I don't know, if we ate here, she might poison our food. So anyway, uh, why don't we go somewhere else? How about we hit up Kelly's? I've lost my appetite. Okay, it's gonna drown in your sorrows then, huh? Yep, pay the tab on the way out, will ya? Sorry about that, pal. My favorite mobster and his mouthpiece. I mean attorney. You two having a little pity party? Mrs. Zakara. Or, or do you prefer Connie? Yeah, either. Okay. Well, um, Connie, it would be in all of our best interests if you found someplace else to eat. Best interests. Those are the magic words. That's why you showed up for court, right? It was so much fun to watch you fall flat on your collective asses, I have to say. Okay, sick. You're nothing, just a symptom of the illness. You know what, Sonny? You know what I think? I think deep down you're jealous because you wish that I was hot for you. Not that that would ever happen, but if it did, you could stop pining for Kate and get up close and personal with Connie. There's a, a name for women like you, Connie. I never really liked that kind, you know, and I never will. All right. Mm -hmm. I guess you prefer your phony little Kate then, huh? Well, suit yourself. Not that you're ever going to see her again. Don't bet on it. Look, I know you thought you'd be tucking me into Shady Brook right now. I guess you're gonna have to learn to live with disappointment, because that ain't never gonna happen. Don't get too cocky. It's never too late. This is what I've been waiting for, Sonny. Because my hubby and I finally get to tell our side of the story. Tomorrow, the whole courtroom is gonna know the truth about us. When have you ever told the truth about anything? Oh, you're so me? slick, aren't you? Coming up with that whole plan to get my unwanted brat to sign those papers. He did have the legal right. Please! He can't stand me. What'd you do, huh? What'd you do? Did you promise him a new car? We didn't have to do anything. You persuaded him all on your own. I persuaded him. You went knocking on his door, acting like you wanted to see your long-lost son, and that you're so grateful that he took your side. He looked right through you, Connie. You made a very compelling case as to why you cannot be trusted, and that Kate <laughs> can only be made whole and fully integrated if you no longer Alexis. exist. See, it's Kate that's long gone, mm -hmm. Alexis. Well, let's let the court decide that, shall we? And I, for one, will look forward to that. You know what, Sonny? I think you better tell your attorney to back off. Because whatever you got planned in court tomorrow, I assure you, you're going to lose. The gloves are coming off. And by the end of it all, there's going to be blood on the floor. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? Now, if you'll, if you'll excuse me. I'm going to go have sex with my hubby. See ya.
you missed a spot. Ah, uh, look at that. My hubby decided to join me for dinner after all. <sighs> Do you ever stop? What's with the face? <sighs> oh, I think I know what happened. You went and found Carly and Todd going at it, didn't you? I'm not. Well, you're in luck, Johnny boy. I haven't eaten yet. But we gotta find a new watering hole. See the kind of people they serve in there? Well, they serve you, so they can't be that picky. Lose the toot, okay? You know, you're blackmailing me. You're making my life a living hell. What the hell? You expect me to just suck it up and be okay with it? Well, I can tell you something that you'll enjoy. A night at home, you, me, bed, or whatever flat service you prefer. Come on. Todd and Carly are having sex. Why can't we do it, too? Johnny, why don't you let your wife take care of you? On second thought? Yeah. I'd rather kill Todd Manning.